Hey everybody, Darren Burrows here. Today I wanna to walk you through the best real estate software for investors. These are the apps and the software that I use in my business to keep me organized and they allow me to find efficiencies with my time and my team. Gone are the days of using Excel spreadsheets to manage your entire business. And if you're still using some outdated systems, you may be falling behind and losing your competitive edge with other investors in your community. If you're searching for a way to scale your real estate investing, you'll need to leverage technology in order to do so. Being able to automate processes, track everything, and potentially pass off responsibilities as you grow requires a tremendous amount of organization. So if you can set up those systems now and build them with your business, you'll be in a much more favorable position. So I'm gonna take you through my entire deal flow from beginning to end and show you the systems I use along the way. If you're new to me and my channel, I talk about three main subjects, real estate investing strategies, tips, and techniques renovation and construction, and financial freedom. Before we get into the video today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we jump into the software that I use, I want to explain a little bit about how my business works for those of you that are not super familiar with it. Hopefully that will give you some context as to the technology I use and why. I also want to let you know that just because I use this software doesn't mean it's the only thing out there. And I also want to make it clear that I have no affiliation with any of these products. I am just a user and a fan. Although if any of these companies feel like sponsoring my YouTube channel, I'll definitely take your call. My primary focus with investing is conversion and development. So I take an existing property such as a single family dwelling and I convert it to multiple units. Sometimes I convert to two units. Sometimes we take large properties and convert them to eight or nine units. With my projects, I am the working partner, meaning I manage the acquisition of the property, the renovation, the tenants, and the finances. I joint venture with money partners. So a lot of what I do is focused around how those investors find me, how I onboard them to my systems, and then how I communicate with them throughout the process. If your system is slightly different than mine, you may have different needs, but I think you'll find that most of the software I'm going to touch on is relevant for most real estate investors. All right, so with all of that out of the way, let's jump in. The first thing I'm focused on as a working partner is how can my money partners find me? You could be the greatest investor in the world, but if no one knows what you're doing, they can't invest with you. So the first thing you'll need is a website and some branding. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money on this. You can go to sites like Fiverr and Upwork and hire professionals from around the world to work for you, sometimes at a fraction of the cost of what it would be in your local area. You can read reviews of other satisfied clients and search for your exact needs. If you'd prefer to do some work yourself on your website or your branding, there are great platforms for DIY website design such as Squarespace, Wix, and WordPress. If you're looking to do your own branding, I love Canva for all things graphic design. Once your potential investors find you, now you wanna show them exactly what you do. This can be in the form of video or vlogs, pictures, or even a blog post. I'm obviously a huge fan of video, but if that's not your style, there are other options. Remember one thing, if you're camera shy and nervous about putting yourself out there, remember this slogan, done is better than perfect. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on lights, cameras, microphones, and a personal stylist, clearly. Just grab your phone to start and get some content out there. Be authentic and you'll be amazed at what happens. For my video content, I shoot on an iPhone 11 Pro. I have a ring light and a good quality microphone and a lot of hard drive space for all the errors that I make while I shoot these videos. <laughs> I edit my videos in iMovie on my Mac and I use Canva again for my graphic design and titles. I'll leave a link in the description of all the gear that I use to shoot my videos. Now that your potential investors have found you and you've shown them what you're capable of, now you wanna capture their interest and their information. I like to do a call with interested investors and setting appointments can be tricky at times with everyone's busy schedule. I use Calendly and block off times in my calendar for appointments and then send out my Calendly link to potential investors to set up meetings that are convenient to them. In the paid version of Calendly, it automatically syncs with Zoom, so we can set up a Zoom call if necessary. And speaking of Zoom, this has become a vital part of my business. Connecting with investors has become very simple with video conferencing. There are many options such as Zoom, Google Meet, 
Skype, or even FaceTime, and each platform has its advantages and disadvantages. After having a chance to connect with investors, I like to track the conversations and emails going back and forth. I do this through HubSpot, which is a CRM, a customer relations manager. In my CRM, I can put notes in about each investor, set tasks to follow up, track emails that go back and forth, and organize investors for each project that we're working on. To communicate with investors, I use an email marketing tool. I use MailChimp, but there are other platforms such as Constant Contact and Active Campaign that provide the same service. HubSpot also has an email marketing tool in their paid version of the platform. And email marketing tools are great for sending out group emails without them feeling and appearing like they are group emails. This can be hugely helpful in relaying information to a group of investors with one simple email. Once I have investors lined up, I need to send them a pro forma and information on the property that we're looking at. For that, I use DealCheck. DealCheck gives me three options for analyzing numbers on a real estate transaction. I can run through BRRs, which are buy, renovate, refinance, rent, and repeat. It also breaks down flips and buy and hold transactions. I find DealCheck is very robust and can be customized to analyze a variety of scenarios. It also produces great reports that my investors find easy to read and to follow. After my investors have looked at the numbers, have met with me and are interested in moving forward, our next step is to drop some legal contracts. I can do this with my lawyer, but at like $5,000 an hour, this can get expensive. I know mom, I should have gone to law school. I like to create a working template for my lawyers to work off of, which can reduce my costs. For base legal contracts, I use lawdepot.ca. They've got templates for everything from promissory notes, letter of intents, will and testaments, and of course, prenuptial agreements. Including? Prenuptial agreements. After creating the templates online, I can then send them to my lawyer for review, and that just saves us a whole bunch of time and money. To get documents signed electronically, I use DocuSign. This is so helpful for being able to send documents via email and having them signed digitally. I use this for my legal agreements, my leases, my intake forms for my coaching program, and my tenant applications. It's a huge lifesaver. Once I have my investors in place and all the legalities out of the way, now it's time to actually get to work on the properties. For project management, I use monday.com. Monday is a centralized location where all of our documents can be stored. We can schedule our project timelines. We can assign and track tasks to anyone on our team. And my investors can view everything going on throughout the entire acquisition and renovation process. Tracking all of our spending is done in QuickBooks. I can log receipts, categorize all of my expenses, and produce various reports that can be sent directly to my accounting team or my investors at tax time. QuickBooks also allows me to sync all of my bank accounts so that transactions are pulled automatically, which helps me stay on top of reconciliation. I have a remote bookkeeper who I give access to my QuickBooks to reconcile my transactions over my various accounts, and then I send all the necessary information to my accountant at the end of each fiscal year. Once the property is up and running, I need to bring in tenants and manage them, or at least manage the managers. I do this with my property management software. I've used Buildium for this in the past, but I'm working with a development team in Sudbury, Ontario, and they've created a software called Occupy. Occupy is great for managing my business and getting an overall picture of what's happening in all of my properties. It allows me to keep tabs on any issues that come up, where rent collection is at, when leases are expiring, and it's a central location for all my documents to be stored, whether that's lease agreements, property photos, expense receipts, and so on. My tenants also have a limited view into Occupy, and they can submit maintenance requests and download their own rent receipts whenever they want. This helps me stay organized and saves me a ton of time. And finally, one of the last steps and one that's often overlooked by many investors is reporting and feedback. Keeping your investors informed on the properties on a quarterly basis or whatever frequency you decide can separate you from other investors. Gathering feedback is something that can really allow you insights into how your partners feel about working with you and what you can change and adjust on future transactions. And of course, for your investors that are incredibly satisfied, which hopefully should be all of them, you'll want an opportunity to ask them for a testimonial to you and your business. This can be done in a variety of forums, whether it's your CRM, your email marketing platform, or something specifically built for gathering feedback, 
such as a program like SurveyMonkey. As you can see, technology and systems play a huge part in my business and they can help you stay organized and look professional to your investors. For that reason, I'm always trying to stay on top of new platforms that are available as new tools for investors are being created daily. The software I use today can quickly be replaced with something better tomorrow. If you're using a specific software that I haven't mentioned in your real estate investing business, leave it in the comments section below. I'd be really curious to hear what other investors are using. If you enjoyed the video, if you can also hit that like button below, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you're alerted when I release a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.